question. Welcome to Sunstreet Games, the place to find... Wait, how are we gonna find anything? I like, I can't see. Like, this is such a dark space. Yeah, so we're gonna play Dark Space, which is a turn-based combat game in space where you sort of fly with your own ships, do some fighting, and make your own ships too, which is pretty cool. Big thank you to the developers for giving me a key to this game. Now, this game came out into early access just a few days ago, so this is just like really, really early on. So let's start this off. Do a solar system. I already unlocked some stuff, but we'll go from the beginning because I want to show you the story as, day, as well. First day. On your first day aboard a Galaxy Force warship, a mysterious fleet show and starts attacking Uranus stations. Wipe out the enemy scout and get to Uranus station ASAP. Yeah, so this is our first mission. We're just like, kind of like, you know, just getting to the Galaxy Force. Just started this and hey, we got to fight. In the 24th century AD, with advances in space travel and space settlement technology. Mankind is rapidly exploring and developing the solar system. And the off-planet population is growing. To better exploit the solar system resources, mankind have built a colony on Mars and a large mining base in the asteroid's belt. In Venus's orbit, the solar energy system SES. I like that it's called SES. The largest energy project built in mankind's history has entered the implementation phase. Yeah, we want to build our solar energy system. And I'll teach you how to fight from the very beginning, newbie. I'm not a newbie, I know how to fight. So, like a ship of yours by clicking on it. Alright, I guess I can do that. How are the point of recalculation to see some arrows? Okay, so facing is very important in this game, so we're gonna face towards the cannon destroyer so we can do some damage. Click an enemy in your attack range to fire. Enemy may be able to counterattack if you're close enough, so most of the times they can counterattack. Now, let's select another ship, move to the side of the enemy. Rotate to face your enemy. Fortune favors the brave. You'll see it. And fire! You may deal a higher damage with lateral attacks. Okay? Let's finish up those two ships first. Yes, we're gonna go from the side of this one. Bam! Into him. And if you kill him, you get this kind of like a nice um, graphic thing. Which I like. So let's go and let's just snap into the can destroy. Hold the end turn button when you're good with it. Yeah. Bam! You need to hold it, not click it, which uh, the first time I played was kind of confused, like, why is this not working? And I was like, oh, you have to hold it. Wait for the enemies to finish their work. Yeah, like, you can do what you want to do. I'm gonna, like, finish your stuff, write your will, because you're gonna die. You can hold left mouse button on an enemy ship to see its attack range. Keep a clever distance from it. Okay, so if we kind of click and hold, we can see, like, where it can go. So we want to move more towards the right to fight these guys, maybe. That's the basic line. to crush them on your own. So we're gonna move over here. Just blam hit the scout. Bam, like that. What was the range of this thing? The thing is, like... I'm not gonna avoid it too much. I'm just gonna go at these guys. Because if we try to go, like, too much around... Then it's just, you know, it's not the greatest. So we're gonna go to... The problem is you can, you can turn like um, 180 degrees, so we would have to be sideways here. Which, I think I should just go straight at it, really. I know it's not what it said in the instructions. No, we're gonna, we're gonna go this way. Just gonna run like cowards. So that's what the tutorial wants me to do, okay? I'm just following instructions. Yeah, this guy is just dead. That's not really... I mean, they do damage. So yeah, that ship is dead, that's fine. Really not a big deal. Okay, we'll go and we'll hit this scout from the side. Bye-bye, scout. You are now kaput. You should go and hit this thing from the side. And you can finish it off. Yeah, now we only have one cannon destroyer to worry about. We can easily destroy that. Without too much worry. Oh, I, I mean, assuming we can get to it, really. Oh, they have more counterattack than I do. So the way this works is that the counterattack is dependent on health. So now it's just like one and one. Almost I can't quite attack it. We can still kill it next time without easily, but like... Yeah, we got an A. And we finished our objective, so we can keep going. Now we're gonna go do the Uranus escape. With limited fleet, it's impossible to feed the enemy force. Use the boarding corvette to board the research station and to detonate it 
to block the enemy attacking route. Boarding curvet must be protected to carry out the mission. Okay. So the comm officer is talking. There are too many enemy ships. We won't be able to stop them from attacking the station. This is kind of like the captain, and I'm just like helping out. Attack them with all we've got. We'll teach them the consequences of challenging us or the galactic force. This is me. Uh, when you start this off, you can actually pick, uh, if you want to be a man and a woman, pick a name. Since I've already done this, this is kind of already decided. Samantha, I have an idea. Go ahead, say it. Oh, could you hurry up, girl? We should attack Special special Satellite 1. It's a space station model. <laughs> it's going so slowly. This is teaching me how to talk slow. And it's currently located right between the enemy ships and Station 1. I was told a few times that I talk too fast, and this is like a lesson for me. If we de de detonate a nuclear bomb in its courts, it will create a large barrier of debris and obstruct the enemy's progress. So too fast. It will buy us time to evacuate the people on Station 1. It's too slow, it's not too slow. Good idea. Let's give it a shot. We don't have any other choice. If your plan works, will save hundreds of lives. Just doesn't sound that, that uh, you know, that interesting if you say it so slow. It's just like, it doesn't seem exciting. One guard, lock onto special satellite one. Careful. Keep the boarding corvette alive to carry out the mission. We'll do that. So the boarding corvette is this thing. We gotta get this research station and we're gonna kinda need to protect ourselves around. Glad to see you again. I'm here to teach you something more. Oh yeah, teach me. You can use various dead to move around. Yeah. And can you to rotate your wheel? Yep. I think we wanna go back, take back your research station. Select the Marvin Corvette as you wish. Face any direction to complete the boarding task, but just wait forward this time. Like click the boarding task button, which is right this button, and we can go in. I'm just like, yeah. And you can see this progress bar and we need to get it to the end. We can lose all of our ships, which we probably will, because look at how many enemies we've got. I'll show it to you in a second. I can't move right now. Research station will be back under your control when the progress bar is filled up. Only the Marine Corps is equipped with the drop bar. So please kindly notice its HP and use other ships with the dirty work. Your boarding crew may be eliminated by enemies, so try to block them. Click on this. And we're supposed to move right here and we're going to hit this thing. Nice. And then this one over here and hit that thing. Enemies won't be able to get through the side areas of your ship. They can only like go there, which is cool. With the defense line set, attack with your missile ship from a distance. So missile ships are really cool because you can attack from like a distance and they don't get a counter attack, which is very cool. Don't worry about getting counter attack as long as you keep a distance, but there's also a negative side. These ranged weapon eclipses won't be able to counter attack. Enemies have larger army. Hurry up and occupy the research station before they get to you. Yeah, yeah, we'll work on that. I'll work on it. Let's see how much stuff they have. They have lots of stuff. These guys are just gonna kind of go around the station to sort of help out. Just like stay there to protect me. And we'll let the enemy hit us. This is gonna hurt. But it's, I mean, that's the whole point. It's supposed to. They're just supposed to survive just for a little bit longer. Okay, we destroyed that. We destroyed both of these can destroyers, which is cool. Now we want to make sure that we stay far enough from all of these things. So we want to maybe kind of sort of like a zoom over them, see how far they can get, and maybe like take a step back, sort of protect ourselves. No need to get hurt. We're just buying time. Okay, so how close can you get? Ah, oh, pretty close though. So maybe we'll let this scout hit us and we'll try to stop ourselves from the others. Wait, if I move this over here and hit that, that's destroyed. Bye bye scout, it's over for you. And we're gonna take the Corvette and board it again. You have to keep clicking on the boarding thing again. Now you can go this close and you can go that close. If I take a step back, you're protected. You can go to over there. So if you move to here, I can shoot at this scout. And then you would have to move like that. Do it. Do it. I wanna I wanna save my ships. Now they're gonna come, they can't really touch me. And then we, we need we only need like two turns for the research station. So this yeah, so that, that should be okay. We can do that. We can do that in our sleep. 
kind of sad though that all of these ships have to sacrifice themselves just for this boarding group, but like, it was my idea, so I can't really complain. I mean, my character's idea, I should say. Let's move this guy in. Yeah, we can, we can kill up the scout immediately. Well, almost immediately. So if, we, if we get behind and hit that, you kind of just go next to it, I think. Um, you need to move. Do we attack? Um, yeah, I guess we should. We can do much damage, though, can we? Yeah. <laughs> I was. I wanted to look at that, but instead I did it. Uh, do we go to the scout? Let's go to the scout. And you can move closer and shoot. And we did the boarding. Okay, so we're under turn. They're hitting my destroyer, which is okay. And this one, which is fine. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. We gotta destroy that. Where it goes. Actually, we don't, because we can just go in the station where it's done. Yeah. Victory! Captain! These scoundrels should know how to fight. Ugh. Send the captain to the med medical wing at once. <laughs> oh no, this is just so slow. <laughs> Samantha, you're acting captain now. Make sure you rescue everyone. He speaks with his last breath. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I remember you. I remember you, Wade. And those spacecraft, where in the galaxy did those darn things come from? Give them hell, if you get the chance. Don't talk, Captain, don't talk! You're bleeding! A lot! What is this? Is, this is from the station, I'm gonna give it a robotic voice. Thank you for rescuing us, we are sent a re You've sent a report to Mars Base commending your performance. We were just doing our jobs. How is Captain Wade doing? He lost too much blood. I'm sorry. You say that he didn't survive. He is dead! Captain Wade sacrificed himself to save the people on the station. <laughs> Man, I will never learn to talk that slow. We will complete an orbit of Uranus and use its cover to make our retreat. We'll head to Eye of Saturn, rest and resupply. Then headquarters will reassign you appropriately. I I'm not sure why am I telling the station that will be reassigned? That seems I don't really understand that part. Thank you, three cheers for the Galactic Force. Cheer, cheer, cheer. <laughs> The tree cheers, I don't know. Okay, apparently that's what they do here. Okay, let's get out. Let's get out of Uranus. In a recognition you're trapped with an enemy fleet, at least one ship needs to get out to the escape zone to jump out so enemy intel can be reported back to the Eye of Saturn base. Now this is really cool because you learn about the terrain. The terrain in this game is very nice. January 15, 2395. The is evacuating from Uranus to Saturn. Okay, come officer. Incoming transmission from Eye of Saturn. Accept transmission. The gravitational wave detector. Oh, we have problems with connection. On Eye of Saturn has detected irregular gravitational waves. <laughs> well, what else it would detect if it's a gravitational wave detector? Like, no kidding. Analysis shows that they originate from within the solar system. The one card is ordered to proceed to this location. Immediately. Well, if you talked a little bit fast, I could have already been there. To conduct reconnaissance and ascertain the situation. <sighs> okay. We're gonna think, we're gonna deeply think about what she said. Have the coordinations been confirmed? Affirmative! I am taking a recon spacecraft for this mission. Lee, you will be in charge. Oh, I'm gone. Can you do it, Lee? The Chankly. Captain, if I may, your duty is to command us from this ship. So, what? So he's not willing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going off trying to save ourselves and you're like, no, command us. These gravitational waves 
might have something to do with the <laughs> aliens we encountered on Uranus. I must investigate personally what's going on. You will take command as acting captain. Do what I say. I am counting on you and do not talk back. Okay, okay, okay. It's like, okay. Let me, no, he's not okay. It's like, let me go on recon mission. It's just like, he's a very insubordinate. Like, come on, man. I'm your boss. No, agreeing. That was an order. From now until I return, you'll be acting acing captain of this ship. You dare to talk back to me now. See, now he doesn't say anything. 15 minutes later. Okay, okay, what's going on? What's going on? On guard. We are under attack. Oh, really? You didn't see that coming? Requesting support. Now he's like, I told you. Blue one, report your situation. You've discovered a large fleet of alien spacecraft. Sh yeah, sure. Just t t take two hours to take it. No problem. You're just gonna get killed in the meantime. At least 300 ships. Wow, girl, that's a lot. It looks like they spot us too. There's a small group of ships moving to surround us now. Roger that, Captain. I will send a battleship to your position immediately. Try to get as close to the vanguard as you can. Roger that, Acting Captain. We'll do our best to get closer. We'll do our best. This is actually a really fun mission because all you have to do is get to this thing. So it's pretty easy. So you have to just pick one ship and go there and everybody else can just be left to die. We've got some new faces this time. Let's call them Tarians. You can get through some of the Tarians while others will block your way. Click on the Tarian to see its information. So this one, it gives me increased armor. A dust rain may give you a bonus to your ship's armor as you stay in it. Then let's take a look at those flashing guys. These are these. So this seems like it's gonna hurt. You. Oh, they don't. They're actually pretty amazing. They give you invisibility. How cool is that? Your ship will become invisible to enemies as long as you stay in nebula terrain. You're never gonna do that. Take advantage of these terrains. They can be extremely helpful when fighting a stronger army. All right. So we're gonna move first. You kind of out of the way because I want this ship to kind of go go that way. Then I'm going to grab this thing and attack. And this behind and attack from a distance. Great. Then you can go over here and attack. And this will go kind of from the side and do some extra damage. Bam. Oh, we destroyed that completely. We decimated that thing. Like it's nothing. The enemy's gonna do some attacks, I don't care. I'm just gonna run the destroyer to the invisible parts and then we don't have to worry about anything for the rest of our lives. They're gonna escape, and they're all gonna be like, How did you escape? Well, because you're fighting all my other ships, except this tiny one which ran away. And I'm on the tiny one, because... I wanna save myself, you know? Like, I'm not the good captain who's, like, fighting everybody. I'm just like, nah. I just wanna live. I'm out of here. Let's move this, destroy the missile for death. Great. You two should probably go and handle this. Oh, it's, it's not heading back, which is pretty cool. We can just destroy that. Now this is not invisible yet, this ship over here. But as soon as it can move to there, then I can make it invisible, which is gonna be cool. Yeah, the destroyer didn't really go in a very good position. Like, what are you, what are you thinking, destroyer? Okay, well, let's grab my destroyer and move him closer. In uh, two turns I can be safe. Which is a lot of turns, but oh, we can attack? Well, we could go here and be invisible, which I guess is cool. Oh, and you can't attack either? Come on. You go that way. I'm wondering if I should attack or just... No, you try to kill this thing. And you... I mean, I guess we'll just attack. It doesn't matter, we can lose those ships. So I'm just gonna go... I'm just kind of trying to do as much damage to the enemy as I can. Oh, they're all going at my frigate? No, don't do that. I hit my destroyers instead, that's better. You... Keep moving forward, and next turn hopefully we'll win. Now you could go and attack this from behind. Yeah, that was a great damage. And you go this way and hit it. Oh yeah, I destroyed it. Nice. It's gone. And well, I mean I could do that, but I'll die. Well, I guess I'll have to stay like that. It's gonna. At least he can waste his turn with killing me. Or not. 
No! Leave my frigate alone. Okay, either way, we're, we're, we're not done yet? Come on. One more turn, then. Okay, we'll try to use my thing to, like, do some damage. Not that it matters. Just, uh, we're not gonna do anything with the disturb. We're gonna let him t waste his turn by killing me. And then we, we can win. With our final lonely ship made for escaping. You on. We got a B. Oops. The situation looks serious. <laughs> Report this to Eye of Saturn and Earth Base at once. A large number of alien ships are entering our solar system. The unusual gravitational waves detected by Eye of Saturn were caused by alien technology. They bypassed our border warning systems. <laughs> Just change this the meaning and directly enter the Uranus's orbit. These alien ships look similar to the ones that attacked us on Uranus. They should be the same enemy. Roger. Enemy ships detected on our tail. Charge the main electromagnetic cannon. Whoa. Uh, if the ship gets any closer, attack it with maximum force. Once it stops, it's pursued. Uh, travel at full speed to Eye of Saturn. Okay. If I... Roger. Yeah, okay. So we did that. Uh, yeah, that's it. We're now doing the simulation. So we'll click back. So now we can go to Saturn and we'll do Battle of Saturn. Unbelievable. The rebel occupied Eye of Saturn station while alien forces on the doorstep. You must quickly board and take back the four facilities of the Eye of Saturn station. Oh, this... I kind of like this mission. This mission is really interesting. Because you have to sort of claim areas uh, or like places on the map. January 30, 2095, Saturn. Eye of Saturn Station. One guard, please maintain current position. Oh, I can double click to make it faster. Oh my god. The spaceport is currently relocating. <laughs> okay. The spaceport is currently relocating docks. Eye of, Eye of Saturn, one guard request immediate docking. We have 615 civilians on board who require sustenance. Unfortunately, we are unable to carry out docking at the moment. Sorry and thank you for your patience. Hey, we're gonna die here. Requesting counseling to the General Trier. General Trier is currently unavailable. Colonel Catral is currently in charge of base operation. Just when will we be able to dock? Our life support systems are at their limit. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Please be patient. We will update you soon. <laughs> That's like very helpful. 30 minutes later. We've received an unusual transmission that says Catral has staged a coup. It requests that we enter and seize Eye of Saturn by force. All right, all right, I'm on, I'm on board. So this transmission, it was broadcast on a public channel. Yeah, not sure how much I trust that. I have Saturn is a powerful military base. We won't be able to take it with just the one guard, unless, unless what? Unless the defenses have already been compromised. Seems to be the case. We can test the waters by staging a forced docking. Captain, Commander Catral requests a comms link. Oh, right on time. Be wary of him. He only became a commanding officer because he has the backing of the mining industry. He's one of the largest shareholders of the planetary mining corporations. Yeah, like, we, we gotta be careful. He, he's a rich guy. I'll be careful. Captain Samantha, congratulations on your appointment as acting captain of the One Guard. I'm sure we'll become an official captain soon enough. See, this is the problem with the bad guys because they're always, they're always super sweet. Like, now I don't want to kill you, man. You're super nice to me. Amanda Cottrell, where's General Trier? General Trier has been transferred to Mars Base. I've certainly is now under my command. Forgive me for asking, but isn't your rank, rank too low to hold the post of a base commander? Girl... Don't be mean to him. <laughs> I love him. Isn't your rank too low to hold the post of ship captain? Things happened. The duty of the galactic force is to maintain peace in the solar system, not fuss about rank. Like, girl, let me put you in your place. I'm so on board with him. The troops here staged a mutiny and asked to be relieved from service. There weren't any serious consequences, but General Trader was called back to headquarters. I had no choice but to temporarily assume the role of acting base commander. The time now is 1600. The one guard will soon dock by force. So you don't believe me? I'll have you court-martialed for this. 
Yeah, I'll kill you first, man. I came to Ives to turn of General Trio's orders. All the heavy spacecraft docked at the port are in a sealed state. This is definitely irregular. I trust my own judgment. Yeah, girl, maybe you should follow like the ranks of command? I don't think that's how military works, honey. Catral, you have always believed that the outer region aliens should gain independence. I doubt your position has changed. I request that your troops lay down their arms immediately and accept our investigation. Ooh, is he gonna say us? He's not gonna say us. How dare you! Like how mad he is. <laughs> you got more friends with us this time. Oh yeah, we're stronger than you. They're called structures. Every kind of structure may give may have their special use. Repair shipyards, for example, may give two HP to each ship of its control group that's adjacent to it. The goal in this mission is to occupy all the four structures on the matchfield. Keep it in mind that only those ships equipped with drop pods can do the boarding job. The rebels will also focus on occupying structures more than finishing it up as in early missions. Make sure you're the first one to get hold. So we're gonna grab our corvettes because they can board and we're gonna move them to here and we're gonna board this beacon. And I'll grab my other corvette and I'll try to board this beacon. And then I'll grab my bunch of people and I'm going to attack these guys over here. So we'll start off with the standard destroyer and go straight at their rebuild. Actually, I'm not gonna go straight. I'm gonna use my frigates, frigates first. Or can we go here with them? Uh, okay then. We'll move here and we'll shoot. We can do four damage. The destroyer is gonna move over here, but it can't really do anything. You move that way as well, and you follow. And we'll use my destroyer to hit his destroyer. It's gonna hurt me quite a bit, but I think it's worth it. We want to destroy all of these stuff that he has here before he he takes over the, the station, because then he can heal up. So all the damage he's gonna give me, like I don't need to worry about it. They're trying to get the repair shipyard, which is understandable. Like that's the smart choice. I'm just gonna get these beacons first. You too. Okay. Now, we need my uh, frigate to ideally move backwards and have this destroyer go in here and hit this. But first we're gonna use the frigate to hit that. And then this is gonna hit it, so they're not gonna hit us back, which is great. You move to here and hit the destroyer. Oh, the destroyer is just dead. Just plain dead. We can destroy this. Uh, we can hit a scout, but it's gonna hurt me back. If I attack him from here, first they're gonna kill me. It's okay though, we, we did one damage, which was probably a little bit of a waste, but it's okay. Their forgot is hitting my forgot, it's not ideal. Okay, beacons are mine, so now I need my corvette to move closer towards the shipyard so I can get it, so I can make it mine. Can you kill this thing? Yes, you can. You... You move to here and shoot this thing. And you as a destroyer move around. Actually, I should have moved it elsewhere, but it, it's fine. I want everything to kind of move. Actually, no, I'm going to keep this stuff over here. But otherwise, I want the rest of my corvettes to move there to heal up. They're moving a rebel scout there, so I need to move the frigate closer. Like that, maybe? Okay, you destroy it, get out of the way, you get there, and you turn, and we'll move the corvette in here and we'll try to board it, because then we can heal up our people. Now this destroyer, I want him to move there, just in case this thing decides to attack me, so I want to be ready to defend. Okay, these, these other guys are staying there, which is pretty cool. Okay, so first we start with the corvette, we get to the shipyard, so now all of these things we will get healed. Now my frigate move, um, okay, you move at it, my frigate go over here and shoot it first, and then my corvette will finish it off. End the turn, and now all of this stuff is gonna get healed, which is super cool. You should also let this thing get healed. You, you're not at full HP. You can move away, you don't need to be there. You should turn this way, end the turn. Let them heal up again. Okay, now they're fully healed, so now we can go into combat. Just go. We're gonna destroy them. Destroy Captain... What's his name? I forgot his name. I forgot his name. It's alright, though. It's okay, we'll kill him even though we don't know his name. Uh, how close can you get? That close. So we'll go like that. And this will go like that. Like this, and like that, and like that, 
And the turn, are they kind of coming to us? No, so we're gonna have to go to them. Okay. Fortunately, we can't hit them now, which is a bit of a shame, but nonetheless, we shall go on the attack. Corvette should move that down. The, the Corvettes actually can do some nice damage, so they're not just good for boarding. Yeah, they're gonna hurt me quite a bit here, but. Okay, that, that was a really good move on their part. Okay, I admit I did not see them insta-killing that, but still, it doesn't really matter. Um, turn this way. Three, two, okay. You turn this way, destroy it. Great. And you go and attack that. You can do five damage to it, it's only doing one damage to me. And you... Okay, we'll end the turn. They're getting healed, which is a bit unfortunate. We could try to get their repair station, but I don't know if it's worth it. Um, probably better if we just attack them, I think. Not the greatest damage wise. Go this way. You move that way. That thing is gonna get destroyed, but that's okay because it's it's wasting their turn. That thing's almost dead. Okay, you need to do two damage to that. Can you kill this? You can't. I'm gonna go like this. No, no, no. Ah, I didn't mean to waste the turn. Because I could have attacked with my Corvette. Okay, yeah. Now let's just keep the destroy there in case they decided attacking it is the best choice. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, the destroyer, go kill it. You destroy that. And now, now my Corvette can move closer and change the repair station. And we're gonna have three fully healed ships. Very, very soon. I do admit we could have could have fought this part a little bit better. Because, yeah, we got killed here a lot, but it's, it's okay. As long as we still won, I think it doesn't matter. Okay, one more turn. We got a B, which is still pretty cool. It's a good thing you made it on time, or I of the Saturn would have fallen into Cottrell's hands. I was just doing my duty as Galactic Force Soldier. He'd like, I don't know. Katra escaped on high speed ship. He didn't give pursuit. No need for that. He's openly betrayed the solar system alliance. He'll never be able to infiltrate us again. He's probably escaped to a mine in the asteroid belt to resemble his forces. Don't worry, if he ever returns, we'll make sure it's a one way threat. We scout a large fleet of alien space guard poses great risk, greater risk than Katral does. I agree. I read your report. Mars Base must have received the report too. Crystal like spacecraft showing up. It's an unprecedented event. Catherine, return to headquarters with Captain Samantha and give them a detailed report on Katral's betrayal. Roger. Captain, we have received transmission from headquarters requesting that we send details and information about a Crystal spacecraft to Laboratory X. Laboratory X? That's good news. They'll be able to do a thorough investigation. Hopefully they'll be able to upgrade our ship. The one guy has been due for an upgrade for a long time. Might as well have the Laboratory X do it. Captain, Sa Captain Samantha, I'm a Dr. Tyler of Laboratory X. I was delighted to receive your report. Dr. Tyler, the alien ships are highly unusual. I've never seen anything like them before. That's why Laboratory X is going to do everything it can to uncover their secrets. That's what I'm here for. Before we do that, do you think you have time to give our ship a regular upgrade? Every captain who comes to Albert X makes that request be but as you wish. Okay. So this is an interesting thing. That I'm going to show it to you. We're way out of time, but I just want to show you. You can do a fitting so you can sort of make your own ships. You can create, you can, so you can create like a base ship. For example, we'll take the, uh, the destroyer and we can give him like a special type of weapon. For example, we can give them missile, which actually have two attack range so they can work as the frigate. So we can put that in here. And then we can like give them, I don't know, like armor and stuff like that, like armor plate and stuff like that. I actually made a ship that has the armor plate and then that's this two range destroyer. And then in the next mission, what we can actually do is we can, um, like if you go to the Saturn to this next mission, we can actually pick our own ship so we can decide by ourselves which ships are going to go there. We're kind of over time, so I don't think we're going to do that in this episode. 
Let me know if you want me to continue this series. This game is pretty cool. I quite enjoy it and I think it's quite interesting. The story is pretty cool. I, I very much like it. You can click on the right top to watch my let's play of The Governor, which is the turn-based combat games where things happen simultaneously, so that's quite interesting. Or you can click on the right bottom to watch my let's play of Dead Monarchy, which is another fantastic turn-based combat game. I'll see you in one of those. Bye-bye!